Thank you, Sue. And I neglected to thank one of our wonderful sponsors. It didn't make my bulleted list for some reason. I was writing that out this morning as I was trying to get everything going. Yeah, think of bike rental. Um, they're wonderful. They brought up uh, Marty. How many bikes did you bring? Where are you? Marty brought five bikes, Glenn Swan brought four bikes as well. So every single one of the bikes that were brought up today, um, in case people didn't have a bike and wanted to ride the trail, were used today. That says something, right? So we really thank um, uh, the Ithaca Bike Rental um, Project and Marty, um, specifically Marty Schreiber, for bringing these bikes up. So uh, my next uh, speaker, our next speaker is Andres Oselins, who's been a tireless advocate for cyclists and pedestrians for many, many years in our area, promoting rail trails, cycling friendly infrastructure in Ithaca, Tompkins County, and far beyond. Andres has been an active member of the Finger Lake Cycling Club, as well as the Black Diamond Trail Enthusiast Network, BD10, and has managed websites and electronic communications for both organizations. So, Andres. expect to be uh, called out just yet. I thought I'd come to someone else, but here I am, and I'm so happy to be able to be present at the opening of this trail. It's been so long coming, as everyone has pointed out. And, uh, oh, I thought I was. Is this the microphone? Uh, I think Jan is uh, going to say most of the thank yous and, and credits that I, that I could possibly think of. But I just, uh, I just want to say in general, I hope that the opening of this trail in impresses all of us with how wonderful trails are and how accessible it is. Even though it's taken 40 years to do it, it has not taken 40 years to actually prepare the trail. It's only taken a couple of years. And that includes some glorious bridges, a whole lot of really heavy lifting has been done and reasonably fast. And I have to say at a modest expense to the public. This is such a terrific investment that I hope that the existence of this trail network now inspires us all to push for more development and much more quickly. This took 40 years. Uh, I, I think uh, Sue said it actually started in the 60s, which would make it almost 50 years. We can't take that long. We, we have to provide a network of bicyclable trails so that young people, infirm people, uncertain people can get around on foot, on bike, and take inspiration from this wonderful piece of work here. And we've watched this thing come inch by inch down from the uh, Tegan Falls. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's just irresistible. So uh, I, won't, I won't say any more. Just let, let this be a hope for the future as much as a thank you for what's coming. 